This is really amazing. They've already been negotiating for several days in a row, including through the weekend. This morning they started around 9:15, and a union rep tells me they are still in there. You can just only imagine what that room is like, what kind of conversations that they're having. You can imagine there's probably a lot of uh, tension in there as well. But regardless of what the outcome is tomorrow, you can be sure the strike will go through until at least tomorrow. It's unfortunate that everybody has to go through it. It's been a week since the teacher strike began and it's not over yet. The union and the school district met all day again today, starting in the morning and going well into the evening hours. Meanwhile, union organizers were sending messages to teachers telling them that the strike is still on for tomorrow. Got uh, two little ones at home and, uh, you know, they, they kind of want to make sure that everything's okay because they're concerned. Um, I think they're kind of left in a void where they don't know what's going on. The negotiations restarted Thursday. Both sides met again Friday and over the weekend, but still didn't have a deal over salary and other issues. The union wants a nurse at every school, more librarians and counselors, and reduced class sizes. These classrooms are so overcrowded. Teachers have to spend their own pocket money to just have supplies. It's, it's disgusting. This is the first time in 30 years there has been a district-wide strike. More than 30,000 teachers have been out of work and pay since last Monday. Nearly two-thirds of students stayed home that day, and more parents kept their kids at home as the strike continued. It's costing the district millions of dollars, more than 15 million the first day of the strike alone. This is very sad what is going on. The students wasting a lot of time, and for the teacher it's very hard too. Again, regardless of the outcome tonight, the union says it will strike tomorrow. They'll actually march from here at City Hall to LAUSD head headquarters about a mile away. And if, even if there is a deal reached tonight, they still have to ratify it. They still have to vote for it. So it's not over yet. Reporting live in downtown LA, Hermela Argawi, KCAL 9 News. Hermela, thank you.